Welcome. I'm gonna do something different today on my video. I don't know if this is necessarily a how-to video because I've never done it before and I can totally screw up my controller right now trying to do this. I figured it, it's gonna be different today. We'll see, we'll see what happens. But I have an Xbox One scuff and I'm pretty sure it's doing this is the same on a regular controller. So you can apply this if you don't have a, a scuff controller. You can apply this to a regular controller, I'm assuming, unless I completely screw up right now. So <laughs> anyways. When this first came out, they, you know, Scuff has their own special sticks that has a Scuff logo on it and they say you can have high ones and lower ones and you can get them all custom. I decided to get my right stick custom, the custom Scuff thumb stick. And I got the left one on this, I don't know if you guys can see it. The left one is the standard Xbox one. Can you see this right here? The standard Xbox One is still in relatively good shape. Like it's not in bad shape. After three months, and I don't even, I had to even use it very much, but after three months, um, I completely wore off the rubber completely on this scuff thumbstick. So I'm not very happy with that. Just a side note, like if you're gonna get a scuff, just get the standard, the standard Xbox stick and get like control freaks or something. That's what I would recommend. But um, I just went on Amazon. If you Google on Amazon um, Xbox One replacement sticks, you'll see a ton. I mean, there's a you can find them for three bucks to you know eight bucks if you don't like metal ones. I think I paid for these ones. These are white, which I don't know why I got white. I don't think it's really gonna go with my controller, but um, I got these for seven bucks. So you might be in the same boat as me. You know, this should be easy. From all the research I've done, this should be pretty easy, but we'll see. Let me flip this camera around and uh, see what happens. When I bought my scuff, I was, uh, they gave me this tool, right? And they gave me this screwdriver. Um, you can get one of these at Radio Shack or any, any like, I think you get a Best Buy too. I'm not sure though. Anyways. If you don't have one of these, just get a screwdriver. And you want to stick this this piece right here in where the trigger the trigger is. And then this rubber, you might feel like you're gonna break it, but you won't. If you just pull it out. Wow. There you go. See it just pops out. Do the same thing to the other side. Right, and then you want to take off the battery cover, pull out the batteries. I'm assuming, <laughs> and you can see this is how you guys can see that I haven't uh, I haven't messed with this yet. This is uh, the the seal that covers the center screw, and uh, if I take this off or do anything to this, it, they say it voids the warranty of your scuff controller. So if you really care about your warranty, um, you I guess probably want to send it in, but I don't really care, so I'm going to take it off. Um, I'm going to stab, I just, dang it, let's see here. See if I can rip this, rip it off. There we go. Yeah, so I haven't done this yet, so hopefully this <laughs> hopefully this isn't bad. All right, so you see there's a screw. So from what I um from what I researched, this is a, a screw you want to take off last. Uh, you have a screw back here, the very back, uh, and then you have a screw right here. All right, and then you, it's the same on the other side. So there's a total of five screws. I am going to take off the the back ones first. out um, if you have a scuff controller your back screws are going to be shorter than your front screws your side screws all right so make sure you pay attention to what screws go where um, I'm just setting mine off to the side right there um, 
trying to watch this camera to make sure I'm actually showing you guys what I'm doing. Alright, so next is the uh, trigger stop screws. And I believe if you have a standard Xbox controller, the screw should all be the same size. These front ones are longer because there are trigger stops on the scuff controller. So um, that's one of them. So that's the third screw. I'm going to repeat on this side. So this will be the uh, fourth screw. And then uh, you want to hold the controller tight because as soon as you loosen this center screw, it's going to want to fall apart. So you want to hold it tight as you're unscrewing the center screw. And that's why you want to wait to do the, the center screw for last because it's easier to hold everything together when you do this one. Come out, come out. All right. So I took all the screws off. That was a total of five screws. Now you want to keep pressure holding it together, set it top side like just straight on your desk, and then this should pop off, which it did. So yeah, all right. So from there, these just come right off. See? Okay. That's I shouldn't I shouldn't pick it up. <laughs> That was probably almost bad. All right, so I'm gonna pull both of them off. My replacement sticks. Put this one on here. Yeah, these only go on one way, so it's pretty easy, actually. You just you know, set it in the hole, stick it in the hole. All right, they look, they feel good. All right, uh, put the cover back on. Keep pressure on it. Throw the center screw in first. Once you get the center screw put back in, I'm assuming it stays tight and you don't have to worry about anything after that. Okay, that's in. Well, I don't think I should have got white. That's pretty ugly. I might have to order some different ones. Feels normal though. Um, I'll put these ones back in. The top ones are the, the top side ones are the longer screws. And do the other top one first. I'm actually shocked because I've done this on my Xbox 360 and it is a lot harder to change them on the Xbox 360 controllers. So um, if you've done 360 controllers, this is going to be a breeze. Like, this, this doesn't seem hard at all. Hopefully I'm not making this look too hard. I probably am, but it's, it's not hard. I'm actually pretty, <laughs> pretty shocked right now. Thank goodness I didn't break this thing on, on this camera. While you guys are watching. Alright, and then these clips just pop right back in. And put the batteries back in. I'm missing a battery in here. Throw this battery in. Put the top on. And it turns on. What do you know? It's yeah, it feels good. So there you go. It's wasn't too hard. Not too hard. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Hope you enjoyed the video.